morning everybody another day is upon us are you guys ready for a long day we're here in Grenfell, saskatchewan we have about 12 hour drive today i have 13 hours in which i can get that done in here in canada on my hours of service legally there's my load let's get this done so if you're new here leave me a comment down below saying hey this is my first video and let's all go down there and give them a warm welcome I make daily videos every day of my life driving my truck across Canada and the United States. Today I find myself on the Canadian prairies. This is my home. I'm from the eastern Canadian prairies, southeast Manitoba. So I live just above western Minnesota and eastern North Dakota. If you take Interstate 29 straight north, you'll pretty much run right into me. I live about 60 miles north of the U.S. border, just barely. So yeah, join us. I got a lot to catch up on. I've been doing this for about 13 years. You can go to my playlists on my main channel. And uh, all of my videos are all organized by year. And if I'm at home or not there, you can go check them out. So let's buckle up. Let's get this truck on the road. I've done my pre-trip already. It's good to go. Load is tied down tight. We've got a beautiful tri-axle behind us. Like I said, about 12 hours. So from Saskatchewan here, eastern Saskatchewan, we need to make it all the way through this province into Alberta past Calgary, up towards Red Deer, and towards a town called Stauffer, Alberta. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a little west of Red Deer, Alberta, between Calgary and Edmonton. We gotta drop half of this off there, and then the other half gets delivered up near Grand Prairie, Alberta, a little further north. So we got our work cut out for us this week. Let's get moving. Okay, so all these fell over. I've got these uh, Howes Diesel Defender with me this week adding one into every tank to give my engine a little cleanse. And it's supposed to minimum 5% improvement in fuel economy. So I am here to test this for you and show you the results. I put it in last night when I fueled up in Brandon. I'm gonna take my average of fuel economy for the last week before I did this. And then after this week, using this, on every fuel up, you use this for about four to five fill ups in a row and that's supposed to boost your fuel economy cleans fuel injectors, adds lubricity, and removes water. So this is uh, Howe's Diesel Defender. As you guys know, I do work with Howe's. They're not paying me to uh, do this. They didn't tell me to do this for you, but they did send me some Diesel Defender to try out in my truck. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try it out and I'm gonna let you know how it goes. The reason I have it there is because both of my cubby holes are completely full and they're sealed still. So if they, were, if they weren't sealed, I wouldn't bring them in here. Just so you know. Just so you know, I do have a few brain cells left. Just so you know. All right, let's do this. Let's get moving. Oh yeah. So I drove about 40 hours past midnight, home terminal time. That means that 40 minutes comes off today's 24 hour period. I can only drive 13 hours in Canada within, like from midnight to midnight, home terminal time. So if I drive like I did yesterday, 40 minutes past, well today I can only drive 12, 12 hours, 21 minutes until midnight. And then uh, it'll give me my other 40 minutes back, if that makes sense. And if it doesn't, that's okay. Sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. It's gonna be a good day. Which way do I go? Do I go that way? I'm gonna go that way. Where am I supposed to go that way? Huh, I think I'm gonna go that way. Cause I wanna go that way. We're going westbound, away from the rising sun. I don't know, I gotta wait for these vehicles. I'm way too nice. I am way too, and I know that. I should have gone. I had time. He might have had to slow down a little bit though, so I didn't want to inconvenience his morning. You're welcome. You're welcome. He will never know the kindness I just gave to him. Here we go. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sing for me, Blue. Sing. Oh, that's wonderful. Sounds of the turbo. The stacks. Yes. We're going to
gonna get out there on the highway and we're gonna add the chorus of the 18 wheels. And we're gonna sing all the way to Alberta. It's beautiful. Oh, I forgot to wash my windshield again. Oh man, you know what? We're gonna bull snot this before we go anywhere. We're gonna pull over up here. We're gonna bull snot this. I do that every day. <laughs> All right, let's put on our park anywhere and get away with it, flashers. Okay, we're just gonna pull right here. Turn left on Highway 616 and then turn right in 40 meters. Quickly, quickly get these windows cleaned off. Use some bull snot visible rocket spray. Da -da -da -da. As you guys know, I also work with uh, bull snot. I'm not being paid by them. But once again, in the past, they have sent me stuff to try before, and I really love their products. So they haven't ever told me to tell you guys about it. They've never told me what to say to you guys. But I figure if it's a good product, they deserve a shout out and they deserve some recognition. So this is Bullsaw Rocket Spray. You just spray that up there. This can is just about empty. Might finish it off here today. And just let it soak in on there for like 10 seconds or so. Get another little spray around there. You don't really have to use that much, but I just don't want to mess around. I'm tired of that bug right in the middle of my vision. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're just gonna let it soak in. See, I wanted to get rid of those bugs right there. I'm sick of them. I'm gonna let it soak in real good. Real good. All right, and... Some of them are pretty dried on. We may have to spray it again. I'm trying to get rid of that one right there, and it's almost gone. Just about. And my wiper doesn't press on the windshield very hard up here. That's why those aren't coming off as easy. It's uh, the spring is a little bit weak on my wipers, but down here it usually does pretty good. There we go. I'll give it one more little squirt. One more. I don't really have to, but I want to. Hey, and if you're wondering, bull snot, made in the USA. That little spot right there. I like to have that part of the windshield clean at least, because that's the part that you guys look through. And uh, I need you guys to be able to see where I'm going so that I don't hit the ditch. that sit there for a little bit. Da, 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 da. I'll let it soak in there for a good little while. All right. Beautiful, look at that. Ready to go. So the reason I say they have not paid me to say anything like this is so that you know it's a genuine comment. I'm not being influenced by money. Though if they do want to pay me, I will not say no. But <laughs> at least you know I'll do it without it as well, right? Uh, they're really great people. I know the company and the owners now at House. I've met them. I'm in the House Hall of Fame. You can find me on their website. And I know the company and the owners from Bull Snot as well. Both really great companies. They deserve your support. They've been working really hard to make the best products on the market. I believe in them. I use them all the time. And that's why I talk about them. And that's, that's why I mention that sometimes. You know, they haven't paid me. And plus, if they did pay me, I'd have to disclose it. So, just so you know. How's that windshield, eh? Not bad. Not bad, just for the side of the road and not using a squeegee. Oh. 
So this is Trans Canada Corridor right beside us. I'm just gonna hop over onto that road and we'll be on our way. That road will take us all the way to Calgary. to you just one second there's cars coming you know they should say look both ways and then turn right when safe to do so some people need that see I, I don't need to be babysat like that but some people <laughs> I've been on uh, oh, somewhat of an unofficial diet. I guess you say, I, I hate calling it a diet. I'm just on a weight loss journey. Trying not to gain anymore, but I have lost, how much was it? 13 pounds this month. So, so far it's going really well. Pretty much what I'm doing is I'm just eating fruit throughout the day for breakfast and lunch. Just apples, bananas, peaches, stuff like that. And then I just have a good supper in the evening. So I'm just trying to limit how much I eat. Plus, whenever I can, I still go for a walk. Days like today, I got no time for that. I do feel hungry throughout the day, that's for sure. So I drink lots of water, lots of water. And whenever I feel that tinge of hunger, I just, you know, down a, a half liter of water or whatever, and that takes care of that for a while. I still uh, have my coffee, put a little bit of cream in the coffee, but it's been working for me. and. Uh, you know, some people uh, have opinions on the best ways to lose weight. 
this way is working for me and I'm happy. So it's nice to have some progress being made finally. forget about food for a couple of hours too so that helps and then for supper I usually have like some mixed vegetables and rice or uh, chicken noodle soup or uh, trying to get a variety of vegetables and meats because I eat fruit for the during the day so I try to get some meat and vegetables in for supper I'm trying I'm not a, a nutritionist or an expert on anything but I'm trying and just, like I said, really happy that whatever's, whatever I'm doing now, it seems to be working and we're making progress and that's what's important for me. I was getting a little bit out of control. like going to 199 so that we're below 200 we'll keep going down from there and then once I get to 180 I'll adjust my diet so that I uh, maintain that I don't want to be like scrawny I was always so scrawny growing up scrawny kid I played hockey so I burnt a lot of calories and stuff but now that I just sit in a truck all day I mean it's a little different
can look out your bathroom window and get a wonderful view of the siding on your neighbor's house three feet away from you. Million dollars, there's over there to the right. That's a whole new neighborhood just popped out of the ground. Huh. I don't even know when they started working on that. Crazy. Somebody's got the money. It's not me. I can't afford to live in Calgary. big houses why are they so close together that's got to be a fire hazard right if your neighbor's house starts on fire well there goes the whole neighborhood Find the right spot? Yeah. Right on. He wants to depart. Just right in front of those bins, just this side of that gravel. Okay. Got two machines unloading me. One there. One going around over there. So most of this is coming off. Everything with the blue sticker stays on. And it doesn't look like there's going to be much staying on. Get these out of their way. That's staying on. Right on the tail, but oh, it's fine. Doesn't matter. 
starting to get dark out. Really nice people. Of course they were, they were farmers. Farmers are always nice people. 99% of them. Might even say 99.9% .9 of them, but we'll leave that extra percentage point there just for the ones you know who I'm talking about. Such nice people, they help. They, they pretty much did the whole, all the work for me. I, I got in there to help, but they did pretty much everything and just told me just to pretty much almost stand by. <laughs> but I, I helped them get everything onto their forks and stuff. They had the two machines there unloading me. So now that that's done, I have 59 minutes left on my clock. I can't get very far. So I found on Trucker Path, the app, it's the app I use, I found that there is a Petro Pass with truck parking a half hour up the road uh, in, what town is this? Rocky Mountain House, Alberta. So Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, that's gonna be our home for tonight. Get my working glasses off. These are my dinged up, scratched up ones. I wear those while I'm working. I've got my supper here already warming up and cooking in my little oven here. I got this, uh, oh boy, it's really cramped in this truck, but uh, I'll give you a little peek. Oh yeah. So by the time we get to uh, Rocky Mountain House, uh, we got some Southwest corn medley in there with some creamy, uh, mushroom rice it's gonna be so good rocky mountain house there's the petrol pass down there on the right i hope they still got truck parking if not it looks like i can, I can park on the service road to the left take the next right onto 45th avenue south then turn left onto 45th street yes you want me to go down here okay Okay. Your destination is on the right. I see it there, yeah. Oh yeah, there's trucks parked over there. Okay, how do I get in there? I'm gonna park here on the street for now. I'm gonna figure out how to get in there. Oh boy, lots of people here already. Well, here we are again. The end of another night, doing our walk around, making sure that we're okay. I think I got a pretty good spot. I parked right along the edge here. So I've got no neighbors on this side. And we're at the Petro Pass. And there's the rest of my freight. That all has to go up to, it's not actually Grand Prairie. It's sort of in that general area. It's uh, closer to a town called DeBolt, Alberta. It's uh, again, it's way out in the middle of nowhere on a farm. Well, those tarps are mine. Man, this camera does great at night. So much better than the GoPro. This is my Sony uh, A7C with a uh, Tamron uh, lens on it. Just captures all the light. It's fantastic. Look at that. It's a beautiful night here. Nice and chilly. I could probably come back a little bit further yet, actually. There's my unit. That's part there, but yeah, I feel like I was I'm safe over here for the night. And that way I uh, I'm out of everyone's way. I was gonna pull up beside this guy over here, but I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm gonna have a little bit of a quieter night here all by myself. Oh, you know me. If I have the option to, I will always pick the quieter night. Now, I could go back a little further, but I'm going to leave it like that, I think. Because i got plenty of space in the front there. I really need to get taller stacks on that truck. And that visor, uh, it's going to be replaced. That's a special visor for me. It's got the Bullsnot logos etched onto it. I'm going to have to hang that up in a very special spot in the shop. But it's a little bit big for the truck, so we'll be getting a little bit of a smaller one eventually. That won't be till like next year sometime probably. But those stacks 
really need taller stacks. I also need a lot of money. And I need the money first, so I guess we'll just keep trucking. So anyways, thanks for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you like my videos. And I'll see you for tomorrow's video. We're going to be going up further north in Alberta and then headed home from there. Hopefully putting some lumber on the trailer on the way home. We'll see. But uh, I have that special day coming up on Friday yet, which is uh, uh, something to look forward to. And on another note, today when I'm filming this is my wife and I's seventh wedding anniversary. So happy anniversary, Britt. I know you're watching this like a week later, but I wanted to mention it in the video too. So seven years, seven years behind us and a lifetime ahead of us. I'll see you. See everybody tomorrow.